What is up guys, it is Nisho here, and today I am pretty hyped uh, because today we got ourselves uh, some new Six Samurai support and um, they are definitely looking pretty lit. Um, we haven't seen Six Samurais get support um, since 2012 uh, when I graduated from middle school, which was in 2012. That was, that was the last support we got, which was the Six Samurai Exceed, Shadow the Six Samurai Shien. And now, after five years, we're finally seeing some more support for Six Samurai, and um, it definitely is um, pretty amazing or pretty hype, a pretty hype moment for me, especially with Six Samurai being one of my favorite decks or favorite archetypes of all time. And um, one of the first decks I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh with as well, like when I started taking Yu-Gi-Oh more seriously, like Six Samurais were kind of like my gateway archetype, no pun intended, um, into the competitive scene. So um, they'll always have a special place in my heart. And, you know, seeing that we have more support now, it definitely is um, uh, really impactful for me. So we start off with a new level two tuner. It's a Shadow Six Samurai Genba, right? He's a fire warrior tuner, um, 500 attack, 2100 defense, kind of like Kagamusha. Um, so when it's normal summoned, you target one of your banished Six Samurai monsters, add it to your hand. Which is already kind of weird, because, you know, what Six Samurai monsters banish other than, like, a Nishi? So, um, we, we can already tell there's going to be some type of new mechanic with banishing. Um, so, in two, if exactly one Six Samurai monster you control be destroyed by card effect, you banish this card from your graveyard instead. So, he's protection in the grave. He's a 500 attack level 2 tuner. So, that means if you want to play him and you want to use Exceticism as well, um, instead of running Elder and Kagamusha, since they both had 400 attack, um, you're going to have to play um, Spirit of the Six Samurai, the, the Union monster, and this guy, if you want to use Kagam um, Exeticism with him. Um, is he better than Kagamusha? Um, I honestly don't know yet. Uh, the, the whole uh, stopping destruction from the graveyard thing is still kind of a big deal and he does get cards back in your hand so if you banish six samurais um let's say you have a banished keys on like from uh anishi then you get to bring that bad boy back you know and then special summon that keys on so i guess it's pretty free i i will i would probably run him over kagamusha um once we get him so definitely uh juicy so far uh next we have shadow six samurai uh hatsume and she's a water warrior um level three 1600 attack 1500 defense and you're going to use her effect once per turn so the, the tuner wasn't once per turn at all so if you normal summon him multiple times you know but she she's once per turn so you can banish two six samurai monsters from your graveyard and or face up on your field target one six samurai monster in your graveyard except shadow six samurai hatsume and special summon it so, um, unfortunately, it's not a quick effect, but you do get to summon out six samurais from the grave. I, I think it's nice that we, we get uh, six samurais summoning themselves from the grave. You know, before we had to rely on double edge, but her herself, she could just bring back a six samurai for free. Well, not for free, but for pretty much a, a low cost type of thing. Um, you, you might, you definitely more might use this more than once per turn. Um, well, not once per turn, more, more than like... Uh, a lot of turns in a duel like uh, you, you might use it like multiple turns because um, it, it definitely can uh, net you resources because she's a level three and she's a non-tuner so she can either bring back a tuner and um, sink or summon into a free Shien or we can go into this fusion which um, I'm definitely going to get into so next um, she has the same effect as the tuner uh, in the graveyard if you could if a six samurai monster you control would be by, uh, destroyed by battle by card effect banish her from the graveyard instead so foolish burial might actually have a place in this deck um moving forward but it seems that uh we have extra protection now for six samurais and i think getting with the times now i think this is something six samurai needed so next we have a level four six samurai uh shadow six samurai kizaru and in his artwork you, you can see the two squires actually uh standing next to him which is actually pretty cool um so when he's special summoned, you add one six samurai that monster does not share an attribute with any monster you control from your deck to your hand. 
So first off, you automatically can't add keys on because, um, or Grandmaster, because he himself is a Earth type monster, which is already a little sad, uh, saddening, because um, you know Kizan is like the best six samurai. <laughs> uh, you could probably add like a Kagamusha. Oh, not Kagamusha. I mean uh, Kageki. I'm sorry, it's been a moment since I've talked about six samurais. You got a Kageki. You could add a Anishi. Um, a few other things, and uh, his graveyard. He has the same graveyard effect as the other two. The six samurai control be sure by battle or by card effect. Um, banish him from the graveyard instead. Uh, the support is looking pretty legit so far. Um, and lastly, what we have here is the fusion. So Shadow Six Samurai Rehan, a uh, light warrior fusion effect, level 5, 2500, 2400 attack uh, and 2400 defense. So 2400 both ways. And uh, an unknown amount of Six Samurai monsters with different attributes. Just make sure you keep note of that. They have to have different attributes. So I, I, I think it will be better now to play uh, the new tuner with uh, with um, Spirit if you want to go into um, this guy first turn. So, I mean, it honestly all depends on how many um, monsters he requires because if he requires three with different attributes, that's going to be pretty hard to summon a lot of the time for Six Samurais because Six Samurais are really focused on spamming keys on. Like, that's like, that's like the easiest monster to bring out. And if we can't use multiple keys on for the same monster, it's gonna be pretty hard to like consistently uh, bring stuff out. I mean, with uh, Katsume, you can bring back six samurais from the graveyard for free pretty much. And with double-edged sword technique, you know, we, you have tons of ways to bring back six samurais. It's just, um, it may not always work out for the fusion because they may not always have different attributes. So, um, yeah, so must first be special summoned by, from your extra deck by sending the above cards you control to the graveyard. So automatically, it's not a contact fusion. Um, it, it's it's kind of like a pseudo contact fusion. Like you send them to the graveyard, you don't really um, send them back into the deck, which would have been nicer. Or even like you, you, if you would have been able to use monsters from your hand as well, that would have been great. But it's only monsters on the field you control to the graveyard. So if your opponent has a Macro Cosmos or, or a Dark Law on the field, um, he's automatically going to miss out on... Uh, you, you just can't summon him. So he can't be used as a fusion material himself. So uh, I, I guess, you know, no looping him with uh, <laughs> with Gateway. Uh, no freaking Gateway loops with this guy. So, I mean, that's only if he requires two. If, if he requires two, he would have been easy to loop. But if he requires three, then he's probably going to be like something you won't summon every duel. So once per turn, you get banished one six samurai card from your graveyard. So it says six samurai card. It doesn't say monster. Uh, does Katsume say card? No, uh, I said Katsume. Uh, Hatsume says you banish monsters, uh, six samurai monsters. But the fusion says you banish six samurai cards uh, from your graveyard that you control face up, then target one card on the field and banish it. So that's definitely, um, it's definitely pretty good. And the graveyard effect is, you know, again, uh, if a six samurai will be destroyed, uh, you banish this card from graveyard instead. So, um, yeah, I mean this support is looking pretty legit. Um, I, I guess it's uh, it's not all that bad. Um, the fusion could do could be a little better. I mean, it, the fact they have to have different attributes is uh, definitely what kills it. But. Um, other than that, I, I think it's pretty nice just to see six samurais again, and um, I'm definitely hyped uh, to play to play test this stuff in the future. So, um, this was Nisha here signing out. Peace.